I meant it when I said black out my ass. I'm a, I'm a flood the timeline today just to let you know I ain't doing no blackout shit. Fuck that shit. Fuck that. Fuck that. I'm trying something new. Hopefully this will work out much better than, you know, what was going on before as far as the, the um, what do you call it? The delay. So I want to see if this is going to work. So you guys see that the Mexican gangs and the Latin gangs and the Hispanic gangs are now targeting us. They setting it on us. Y'all see that, right? How many times have I told you that these these Latinos be checking the white box? Not all of them. But the ones that look white, that you think they don't pass for white? So now they setting on they setting it on us in Chicago. I'm interested to see what the fuck is going to happen here in New York cuz we got a lot of fucking Puerto Ricans that love to say the N word. They love to say that they niggas. They love to say that shit. I want to see what the fuck they going to do. What are they going to do? Because I seen already in, in Chicago is where they really setting it on niggas. They really setting it on niggas. This dude was driving in the car and he had his kids in the car and he was talking about they was trying to set it on him. You know what I'm saying? While he was driving in the car with his kids, with his babies. Y'all keep your babies in the house. Don't even take them out. Like keep the Keep your most prized possession in the house. I'm, I'm passing by this field and niggas is out there playing soccer. The curfew's at 8 o'clock. At least be in motion to where you going. The curfew's at 8 o'clock. If y'all not going to be out here protesting or whatever. I said whatever. Be careful if you out there. If you go, and yo, I see the most epic rant today by Kaya. Oh my God. She was like, well, we, we gonna get you out. I'm gonna start, I, I, I it was, um, uh, Jason Black did a show that had Professor Black Truth and this black lawyer. She's in New York. Uh, he's had her on his show, The Business. Ladies, 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 if you want some game about how to be a lady, how to be the type of woman that a man is looking for watch the business become a, 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 a what you call it on patreon a member on patreon so jason blacks the business he is not going to hold no punches he is not going to talk nicely and sweetly to you he is not going to sit here and and hold your hand through the situation but he's going to tell you the truth on how to be the type of woman that men want to be with i freaking love his show so he had this female black lawyer on his show before on the business but he had her on on his, his youtube show uh the other night uh to talk about the fact you know uh she's a criminal defense attorney i want to get her information i'm gonna you know and then try to pass it on to you guys that's something i'm really really passionate about because somebody sent me a video where it was just when i tell you they was they even she was showing me all the the people that they that this particular person had a uh, you know this particular precinct whatever had arrested in one night and it was like 50 60 brothers maybe 30 40 brothers all brothers all brothers how the hell are the protests 75 percent other but all the people that they had arrested were black you see what i'm saying all the people they had arrested don't come up on here talking about no internet no nothing no 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 we're not doing that i ought to ban you for saying it we're not doing that we're going to share information every single day one rain or shine Monday through Sunday, we are going to share information. We're not going to let the Democrats tell us that there's a fucking blackout. Fuck them and fuck that. I'm going to get on this internet and tell y'all what the fuck is going on. And so are all my compadres and my friends. We are all going to get on here and tell you what's going on. We are going to share our videos. We're not going to let any white folks tell us that it's a fucking blackout. So you participate in that bullshit if you want to, but that's what that's not what's gonna go on over here. Now I support black businesses all the time. So if you wanna do that and have a blackout where you don't do nothing but support black business, I'm with that. But don't get on my thing talking about no internet, no TV, no nothing, because that's what they want you to do. They want you to not know what's going on. They want you to not post what's going on so they don't have to be embarrassed in front of the rest of the world. Yo, I'm gonna need
need y'all to fucking think. I'm gonna need y'all. I can't do all the thinking. I can't be the only one doing all the thinking. I can't do all the thinking. My head hurts. Sitting here talking about no internet. That's how we. So what? You all y'all gonna sit there and do is watch CNN? You gonna watch MSNBC? You gonna sit there and watch what? Whatever. News Twelve. Brooklyn One. Spectrum One. Whatever the fuck. That's what you gonna watch. You're not gonna watch the black media where we're sitting here telling you the truth. You think CNN and all these fucking news stations would be sitting here talking about the fact that these things that's Antifa or these white folks, these cops dressed as Antifa are in our neighborhoods putting these bricks down and all this kind of shit? You think they would be reporting that if we weren't reporting it online first? I will not participate in any fucking blackout and the next person that says some shit like that, I'm blocking your ass. We don't do that here. We don't do that here. We don't blindly follow with the media. We don't blindly follow what the media is telling us to do here. We think for ourselves. You take that blind leading the blind shit somewhere else or somebody else's fucking page. How about you take that shit to LL Cool J since he worried about everybody fucking else? You take that shit to somebody else. One of my favorite movies from back in the day is New Jersey Drive. And one of my favorite rappers is Heavy D. And Heavy D had a line in that movie. He said, take that shit back to Avon, nigga. You take that blacked out shit back to Avon, nigga. The fuck out of here. We ain't doing that shit over here. Fuck out of here. Y'all learn how to think for yourselves. You don't think that there's a whole reason why they want it to be a blackout? A blackout on the information? Yo, it's a line that Professor Carver said back in the day. He was talking, as a matter of fact, it was in Hidden Colors. I don't remember which one. Please don't quote me. I've seen them all so many times. I can't keep them straight. It was, it was, Professor Carver had this line and one of the Hidden Colors. He was talking about the fact that uh, 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 Richard Pryor had done this TV show back in the day where he was telling people that all of the Egyptians on the walls, because he was like the person that carried the bags or whatever for these 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 science these uh, 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 anthropologists and, and 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 archaeologists, and he was saying, you know, that he was looking on the walls. He was like, wait a minute, these are black folks on these walls, and then the screen went black, and Press Cobb said because that was a blackout on the information. And that's what the fuck they are trying to do with this blackout right here. Don't you dare put your phone down. Now, if you're out here in the protest, I recommend that you take your SIM card out and post the video later. That way you can still do your videoing. You can still do your, 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 your taping. But you upload it later when you're in a safe place. Do not have your SIM card out, especially if you out there getting your reparations. <laughs> If you're out there getting your reparations, your personal reparations, because that, that's not included in the reparations that we're asking for. But if you out there collecting your own personal reparations, you take the SIM card out your goddamn phone. So that they don't come back later. Or if you're doing some wild shit, I saw some people, you know, driving real fast in their car. And it just so happened to be somebody in front of the car when they were driving. We're not going to get into the specifics of what I'm talking about. But if, you, if you're doing things like that, make sure you take the SIM card out your phone. I ain't telling you what to do and what not to do. Because who am I to tell you how to grieve? Who am I to tell you how mad you should be and how mad you shouldn't be? I'm not here to tell you that. I'm telling you to take the SIM card out your goddamn phone. Okay? Take the SIM card out your phone. And stop pouring milk on y'all faces. But uh, baking soda and water, baking soda and water. First of all, what the hell is in the milk right now? Because all the goddamn dairy farmers had to dump all the milk. Didn't y'all see the video? So what the fuck is this white shit they got in these bottles of all the dairy farmers dumped the milk? Y'all don't even know what you pouring on your face. Pouring in your mouth. I'm lactose intolerant, so I think milk is nasty anyway. I think milk is absolutely disgusting. So, you know, the thought I had to pour that shit on my head, milk, and it's
stinks like in two seconds. I can't imagine how your clothes and everything after you poured milk all over your face and your head and shit and skin, how how that how that must smell after ten minutes in the sun. Milk is disgusting. Stop pouring milk on your face. It looks pornographic. <laughs> it's not manly. Okay? Not that I'm trying to be a man or anything, but goddamn, I got some self-respect. You ain't gonna catch me with no videos with white shit all over my fucking face. Shit. No, you can't use water. You can't use water because water is not enough. You got to use it's baking soda and water. When I showed y'all the hunk, did y'all look at the, I mean, God damn. Didn't I post the Hong Kong processor thing? Did y'all read it at all? Did y'all read it at all? God damn it. It said, it gave you the exact, and matter of fact, it was the way, the next slide over, it gave you the exact, uh, how many teaspoons per eight ounces of water. This is my gold bag right here, okay? This is my gold bag. I got, I got a book bag, a gold bag, because I never know when I have to set it off. And inside my gold bag, hold on now, hold on, let me get my bottle. Lord, oh, what is you gonna do, ma'am? In my go bag. This is a half a gallon of water and baking soda. Okay? A half a gallon of water and baking soda. I forgot how many teaspoons it was per eight ounces of water, but I did the math and I made myself 64 ounces of it. I almost want to give it away like I, I want to like make a whole batch of it or whatever because it's just water you know what I'm saying and buy and baking soda I want to like make bunches of it and just give it away like y'all bring a, a bottle or whatever and I just give it away you know my go bag has black clothing with no le no letterings no 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 name brands, no nothing. I have black sneakers that I got from some discount store. It has no name brand on it, no nothing. I have a black umbrella. I have a power pack um, for my phone because I'm gonna take the SIM card out, but I still wanna be able to, to take video if I need it. I have masks, I have a black mask because I'm not gonna take this one because this one is very identifiable the whole point i have a ski mask so that i can cover my hair because my hair is very identifiable so that i can cover my hair and my face okay and this is what y'all need to be doing especially if y'all out there getting your own personal reparations why is your face not covered and if you drive a car take the plates off the daggone car I mean, just be smart about it because they're going to track you later. There's still cameras around. And I just want you to be safe. And you see, we sit in here and, and okay, so I said earlier that, you know, they were sitting down and, and kneeling with the, with the, you know, or kumbaya, you know, hand in hand, raising the hands up in the air, waving them like they just don't care with these police. And then, and then after that, the police turn around and put tear, and, and, and shot tear gas in your faces and these big ass rubber bullets that's taking off chunks of people's heads. They not killing you, but they damn, they might as well. And now they talking about they using real bullets. The, and don't allow the police to surround you. The Democrats are taking you on these, these guided protest tours so they can get you surrounded by the police. I'm laughing at something somebody said. I'm going to keep going, though. They, these Democrats got you on these guided, you know, press junkets for, for their campaigns so that you can be surrounded by the police. Don't allow yourself to be surrounded. Remember that video I did about the guy in the hospital when I was telling y'all black people don't go to the hospital, black people don't, don't take the test, and all that kind of stuff? Remember I told you 
told you as he was sitting there talking shit and popping shit and all this stuff he had to say, the freaking the, the doctors and, and hospital security were, were, were circling around him. They were moving things out the way, getting ready to take him down. And he not paying attention to that fact. He's in a corner propping up the camera, make sure the camera can see everything and not realizing that they are surrounding him. Come on, guys, pay attention to military tactics. And I ain't never been in the military, but I know enough not to let a nigga surround me. Shit, did y'all go to fucking school in Brooklyn or what? Y'all ain't never been jumped before? Don't ever let them back you up into a corner. Y'all ain't never been jumped? Shit, I've been jumped. <laughs> Shit, at the club? I've been jumped before and I fucked them bitches up. You know what my ex-boyfriend, yo, let me tell you something. Matter of fact, it was my ex-husband at the time when he told me he was my ex-boyfriend. But my ex-husband told me one of the, the, the illest shit. I will never, ever forget him for telling me this. He wasn't a completely horrible person, okay? Uh, uh, but my ex-husband, he told me, <clears throat> he told me one time, he said, because he knew that at, at school that a lot of girls didn't like me and he knew that girls was trying to jump me and as a matter of fact one time when I, I almost got jumped my mom just happened to be driving down the block and picked me up and she the one who told me that girls was following me and I had my headphones on and I, I wasn't even paying attention so my ex-husband told me he said he said you pick one of them and you fuck her up he said you can't fight all of those people at one time. He said, you pick one of those girls and you fuck her up. You damn near kill her. He said, and that will scare the rest of them and maybe the rest of them will come off you. And let me tell you something, years and years later, me and him wasn't even together no more. I think we by that time we was like separated on the brink of divorce. We was on the brink of divorce for a long time. So we was separated. And he told me, I'm so happy to see her. And he told me, he told me, um, yeah, we were separated and I went to a party. This is a crazy story, but I might as well. So I was uh, at the club and, and it was this small little club over there on Avenue H and 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 back in the day right and it was a small little club it was a and l is a is a small vinci club a small vinci club and and it was like uh like five dollars to get in ten dollars to get in or whatever so sometimes when you play you know when you pay them kind of low prices it attracts a different kind of crowd so i'm sitting there and no i'm an aquarius and I'm sitting there at the club and it was like really, really hot and it was one of those sweat box clubs. And it's really, really hot in there. And this, um, so this girl, I hate when people sweat on me. I, I really can't stand other people's bodily fluids on me. Like that shit is nasty to me. Like, ew. okay. So I'm in the club and, and it's hot and sweaty and it's like all this room and these girls decided they wanted to sit on top of like stand on top of me and my friend. I'm like, bitch, it's all this fucking room. Why are you over here on top of me? Like, I don't understand why you, it's hot as shit in here. Get off me. You sweating your back wet and shit. I don't want you fucking touching me. I don't know you like, ugh, right? And so I didn't say all of that and she just, she backed up into me and her sweat was on my arm and it was a coat right there. And I just took all the sweat from her arm and I wiped it on the coat. I look, look, I shouldn't have did that. Okay. I shouldn't have did that. Cause I don't know whose coat it belongs to. It's not that person's fault. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I shouldn't have did it. Okay. But I did. And so the girl saw me. So one, I guess, uh, one of the girls that was with them it happened to be their code and she saw it and she took offense to it and she confronted me in the club and i was like look back up off me and then i won't have to sweat on me in the first place i was like yeah but i did it like because i never i'm never the person to lie like you come to me and you try to check me on some shit i did i'm gonna be like yeah i did it back up off me like what, what the hell back up off me you too close so they was ready to fight right then and there my home girl was with me and she's from canada say no more right they don't canadian chicks don't really be fighting like that right canadian chicks 
they just don't fight like that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk bad or anything, but my because it's actually my homegirl, so I know like she's not gonna fight. Like I'm not, I'm not sitting here expecting her to fight with me. She was just like, ladies, ladies, ladies. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I said she don't fight. I said she don't fight. I don't know what would happen if you back the ass in the corner. She might fuck you up. Okay, don't you don't be fucking trying nice people. She's just a really nice patient. She is the most patient I've ever met in any person. I've never seen her raise her voice. I've and and I was in the delivery room with her. Okay, I've never seen her raise her voice. I never seen her curse nobody out the way I curse people out. I never seen her do nothing like that. So for her to to be you know sitting here saying that it, it didn't it didn't shock me. So she was just like ladies, ladies. Ladies, we don't need to be fighting. So that calmed the energy down for a little bit. But see me, I'm from Brooklyn. I knew it wasn't over. I knew it wasn't over, right? So I, now, I was like, I, I just felt, mm, I just felt, mm. I couldn't, I couldn't get my groove back. I couldn't get my wine back or anything like that. I, 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 I couldn't, I couldn't get back in the groove, okay? And so um, I was just like, yo let's go and she was like all right if you're ready to go let's go right so i went to go get our coats bitches hand me up by the coat rack they hand me up by the coat rack and i remember i had on i had on pantyhose that night too i don't even try to wear pantyhose anymore but i don't remember i had on a skirt and i had on pantyhose that night so you know how easy pantyhose uh, 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 rips. So the first girl, so the, the coat rack was right by the back door where you people go back out in the backyard to go smoke and stuff. And I remember that I'm grabbing the coats and they're coming in that door. And I was like, shit, it's about to be on and popping right now. I was like, they about to set it on me right now. Right? I was like, okay. And then I flashed back to what my ex-husband said years and years ago. Fuck one of them up. And take it from there right so the first person that hit me when I tell you because it's close they close up on me right I tell you the first girl that she no, she pushed me into the coat rack that's what she did she pushed me in the coat rack and I flew back into the coats once I got my footing I karate kicked that chick right in her chest right here I kicked the shit out that bitch like I knew karate I said Boom! The bitch went flying. Whoa! Okay? So it was three chicks. I kicked one in the chest. She goes flying. The second one sees me kick the first bitch in the chest. She was like, oh, I don't want no smoke with this bitch. She crazy as hell. So she backs off. And then I only had one left. So now I just grabbed her and I just started hitting her in the fucking face over and 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 over until security came and pulled me off of her. And escorted me out the club. And then I fixed my hair, pulled down my skirt, fixed my clothes, and I walked out the club like a lady. And then I went in the car and I cried. <laughs> I cried because I felt like I was too old to be fighting. I didn't want to be fighting. You know what I'm saying? But I, had, I was going to protect my goddamn self. I wasn't going to let no bitches jump me in the club. Fuck out of here. Okay? But honey... I walked out that club like a lady. You would have never known the way I walked out of there that I just finished fucking up three bitches. By my goddamn self. Okay? So you remember that. You remember that. Don't let yourself get cornered. You start pushing, make a way, make a way, make a way, fucking through, kick, punch, bite, but grab bottles, whatever you gotta do, do what you gotta do. They don't care. I gave her, uh, yo, not even that because I used to really be into kung fu movies. And you know I can't stand them Asian people. But I used to really be into kung fu movies. And I definitely took like one or two. I took a couple of kung fu classes or whatever. I hit that bitch with a wing chun kick right in the chest. She was like, oh. You should have seen the look on the other girl's face when I kicked her. She was like, Oh my god. Oh, I'm not fucking with yeah, don't fuck with me. And understand at that time I was like maybe 110 pounds. I had gained a little weight. I was like 110 pounds. I was really small. 
but I always had to keep that being small makes you be smart because you don't have brute force I don't have brute force on my side so I have to be smart the way I beat your ass I have to be really smart about how I do it. I can't sit here and just depend that I can just drag you or anything like that because you might get the best of me. So I got to think I got to think about how I'm going to beat your ass and that thing that my ex-husband told me stayed with me. He's the one who gave me the strategy on how to get jumped. How to get jumped? You pick one and you beat them to inches of their fucking life. Okay? On that note, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to see if this workaround really worked. But don't forget, please, guys, use the hashtag. I'm, I'm not lying about that weight. I am definitely not lying about that weight. I used to be really, 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 really skinny. Really, 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 really skinny. I used to be like 100 pounds. Okay? That's, that's, that's quote that I'm serious and and whenever the scale used to go down to 99 I would start crying I'm like no I don't want to lose it I want to gain weight uh baby boy don't be talking about about mind your business okay <laughs> ain't nobody talking about where I'm at right now mind your goddamn business okay <laughs> I'm trying to guess my weight right now mind your goddamn business don't worry about how much I weigh right now, okay? Don't worry about it, okay? We not here to worry about my weight. <laughs> my weight is where it needs to be, okay? <laughs> All right, guys. Don't forget, use the hashtag death penalty, the number four, for Siobhan, or Shavin. How the fuck you say his name? And you notice the news not even saying his name, so that's why I can't, I don't even know, because I never heard nobody else say it. I never heard nobody else say it, so I don't even know the proper pronunciation of this man's name. So, you know, uh, uh, thank you so much. I, I I didn't take it as a, as, as a, um, as an insult, you trying to guess my weight. I'm just saying we ain't gonna talk about it, though. That's what I'm just just saying we ain't gonna talk about it. But um death penalty for Siobhan C H A U V I N C H A U V I N. Use that hashtag, make that hashtag become bigger than Black Lives Matter because right now we don't need to be talking about us. We need to be talking about them. We need to bring some manifestations on them. We need to manifest with our hashtags, with our mouths, death penalty for Siobhan or Shavin whatever the fuck it is, okay? Death penalty for Shavin. 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 All right, guys. Later. I can always take it down.